Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome back to another Made with Swift UI video. In this video, we're gonna go through how we can present alerts, action sheets, and even how we can present other views modally from another view in Swift UI. It's pretty simple, so let's see how it's done. All right, I have this Xcode project created already, and this is a simple content view application. So let's go and see how we can actually go and present modally another view. So for this, I'm just gonna copy this one. I'm gonna go and create another uh, view and I'm gonna call this model view and that will have a Z stack of a uh, text and uh, also a color dot blue that will also ignore all the edges um, so that it fills the whole view as a, with a background color of blue. All right. So now that I have another view, I would like to go and present it from my content view when I press a button. So let's go and create this button. I'm gonna create a VidStack since we're gonna have many presentations in here. I'm gonna create this button and say show model. Now, once I, once I press the show model, my model will be presented. So how it's done in SwiftUI is very simple. The view that is gonna present something will need to hold the state to know if it's actually presenting the view that you want presented currently. So this is gonna be a Boolean state, let's say showing a model view. So let's go and create this state. So we're gonna have a state var um, show model view. And this is gonna be false. At the beginning, when we run the app, it's gonna be false. And in here, we're simply gonna say self dot show model view dot toggle. So we're gonna switch the boolean from true to false when we tap the button. Now, how we're gonna go and say our Swift UI needs to present this? It's very simple. Um, underneath my uh, vstack, I'll just say dot sheet. This means this is a model presentation. And as you can see, we have this is presented that is binding to a Boolean that we will know, is it actually presenting currently something? And then we're gonna pass the content, which is gonna be the view that we want to present. Um, all right, so let's say, let's bind this uh, show model. So I'm gonna say dollar sign show model view. And for content view, I'm gonna pass in the block a model view. Just like this. And now, if I press my preview to play, actually Xcode is crashing right now uh, when I'm trying to run my uh, live preview. So let's go and see how it runs on a simulator. So in the simulator, I have uh, the show model button. And when I tap it, my uh, other view uh, gets presented. And as simply as I swiping, swiping it down, I can dismiss it. So show model, again, I can dismiss it by swiping it down. And I can do that as many times as I want. That's great. It's as simple to present something modally in SwiftUI. Now let's go and see how we can create an action sheet. Well, action sheet is exactly the same. We're gonna need a state variable that will tell us if it's showing the action sheet. So let's go say state var show action sheet. And that's gonna be false. And for this, I'm gonna have another button. And this will say show action sheet. And this will toggle the show action sheet. All right. And the way that we present an action sheet, we simply say dot action sheet. And then we pass the same thing. However, the content that we need to pass needs to be an action sheet. So for this, I'm gonna say dollar show action sheet. So we bind it to the action sheet uh, state variable. And in here, I'm gonna create a property that will present my action sheet. So that will return an action sheet. All right, so let's go and create uh, our action sheet in a property. I'm gonna say action sheet. And then action sheet can take up to three parameters, a title, which is a, a compulsory. And then if you want, we can have uh, text and buttons. So I'm gonna use all three of them. So for my title, I'm just gonna pass in a text uh, called 
action sheets title and then in here we're gonna be passing another text this is a message unfortunately in swift ui you have to be passing a title and message and even for the buttons text you have to be passing a text uh, component which is not very great because when you have a text component you it actually gives you the impression that you can add a modifier and so on however that doesn't work you just simply need the string so i hope in future betas uh, they change the text to localizable string or something like they did with button on uh, beta 3 i think and since this is a beta 4 uh, we have to pass a uh, text however if you are watching the video in a later beta just know that it might have changed all right and lastly we want buttons so buttons takes an array of how many buttons we want to present in our action sheet and they have like some kind of buttons like a cancel button a default button and a destructive button and each of these buttons take also a parameter on trigger which executes a block if you want it's optional of what you want it to do once the button has been tapped so for my action sheet i would just like to have a default button with some text this is a default button and also a trigger so this will fire a print statement default button tapped okay uh, i will also have a destructive just to show you how it looks like which will take a text of this is a destructive button and also a cancel button now if you don't pass a cancel button in an action sheet uh, then the only way to dismiss the action sheet is by pressing one of the buttons however if you pass an, a cancel button the cancel button will be always appended at the bottom and also if you tap anywhere outside the action sheet will get dismissed all right so let's go now that we created our action sheet and present it in here so we pass a block of action sheet and that needs to be self so let's run our simulator again now let's tap show action sheet so as you can see show action sheet appears with a title that we added the message that we added a default button which gives the default uh, feeling of uh, an action sheet button a destructive button gives a red text button that says something will get deleted or so on and also a cancel button and we can either press the cancel button or tap anywhere outside the action sheet now if you go and delete the action of cancel then the action sheet would look something like this there's no cancel button and tapping anywhere outside the action sheet does not dismiss it and let's see if a print statement gets fired when we press the button so this is a default button i'm tapping it and a default button got tapped great as simple as this is to create an, an action sheet and now let's go and see how simple it is to create an alert if you have gotten the tempo it's the same feeling we will go and add another button in here that will uh, show an alert and again we need another state show alert is gonna be false again and in here we basically gonna be toggling the show alert okay so for this we say dot alert this time and we're gonna be getting this one with is presented and we're gonna be passing the show alert in here uh, bind it to the state of show alert and in here we need to pass uh, an alert so let's go and create again a computed property called alert that will return an alert and this alert can take up to uh, four parameters a, a title a message a primary button and a secondary button the message and the buttons are optional and you also have one with a dismiss button and a, a just a simple message all right um, i'm just gonna go and take 
this one with the title message and button and the title I'm just gonna copy those ones in here title and message and then in here I'll say alerts title and this is a message the primary button and a secondary button uh, I'm gonna intent this okay the primary button I will just have the same kind of buttons cancel default and destructive and I'll just call it default one like in the above and just say text okay and this the secondary button will be a cancel button okay and just simply passing here self dot alert should be enough for us to go and present an alert okay so right now when pressing show alert an alert appears with an alert title a message and a cancel and an ok button pretty simple uh, so if I press cancel it just dismisses it and if I press ok it does nothing because I have not added a trigger on my ok button so if you'd like to do something you just put on trigger in the uh, parameter of the default button and then you execute your code so it is as simple as that to actually go and present models, action sheets, and alerts in SwiftUI. With less than total of 50 lines of code, you can go and create three different reviews that got presented from our content view. So there you have it, folks. I hope you find this useful. Let me know in the comment section below what would you like to see more on SwiftUI, what are you having troubles with, and what you would like to learn more about so that I can go and help you. And if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you folks in the next one. Bye.